Hello folks, my name is Heide Boost and once again I'm here to show you some installation magic about Autodesk software. This time it will be Autocad LT 2019 that came out in March 2018. And the main reason to make those videos is to show and check what has changed when compared to previous versions, perhaps what new or changed options you may have, but also to give some basics for new users. So let's start. Of course, AutoCAD LT can be downloaded from several locations, from your Autodesk account, but also from Autodesk main page. And it doesn't really matter from where you download it, because currently we are assuming that you want to try it out, you want to test the software. So you can go to Autodesk main website, autodesk.com, and you can actually click all products and find AutoCAD LT from here or from the list as well. But it's easy to remember that if you are interested about some particular product and you remember that short form, for example AutoCAD LT, and you can hit enter directly and get to the AutoCAD LT sub page. From here you can read about new features as well, but you can also go directly to free trial and then you have a button to download free trial. Before I do that, you can also see that you have system requirements, so please read those carefully before you start actual download. And once you have finished, then you can come up and uh, also click on download free trial. You see, I have two options right now, AutoCAD LT or AutoCAD LT for Mac. Currently, I'm interested about AutoCAD LT because when we talk about 2019, then Windows version is available right now. And currently, you actually have to wait for, for Mac version. So AutoCAD LT, I hit next. Then you have some descriptions here that it is available for several Windows platforms. Mine is 64-bit, so I have to remember it. If you want to check, which windows you have, you can easily do that. I'm currently using Windows 8.1, but if I open my Explorer and then this PC, I do a right click and then properties, and I can see that my windows is right now 64-bit. Okay, that's clear now. I minimize those windows and I click on next. Now I can check for what purpose I will use this software right now, because I plan to test this software. I can select individual or business user, 64-bit, English, next again. And now it's time to log in to your Autodesk account. No worries, if you don't have it, you can create account straight away. But right now I do have an account, so I use my login name, then next, and then also a password, and then sign in. You see that actually some additional fields should be filled in before you can click next again. So I'm using just a company name, maybe state province is not applicable in my country and then next again. Now it's uh, important to notice actually that uh, you can download or you can install AutoCAD LT in different ways. Of course uh, you have a trial notice so please read it carefully and down below you can click on begin download, but remember that this option means that you are actually downloading a product or needed files during installation, because this option needs quite good internet connection and therefore it may take time if you don't have it. I usually recommend to use download manager, that means that you actually download all needed files first to your local hard drive or external hard drive and then after download you can install those at any time. So I use download manager, I click on this, then I should get a notification that do I want to download this small plugin or software from Autodesk into my machine. So download manager, web install, yes I want to download it. I usually include it into my desktop, I hit save, and once this is done, I can click directly on this exe file, it will start up a small product, and then I can start my AutoCAD LT download, as simple as that. Of course, you can select a location, is it local hard drive or external hard drive, but as you see, I have already downloaded it into my local hard drive, 
So that means that actually I can close it and continue from there where my files are. So basically, I have downloaded my files that I do need for installation. As you see, I have a separate folder to where I have downloaded those, autogetLT. And from those files, I need to find setup.exe file. So I double click on it, yes to run it. And this is a kind of typical Autodesk installation screen in where my installation files are initialized and then I can continue with a product installation. Perhaps it will be easy to see if I just minimize all other windows. So from this window, you can also check system requirements and also installation help. You have an option like install tools and utilities from where you can get additional tools. Not many, but sometimes. But currently I'm continuing with main install. So I click on install then I get a license agreement. Of course, I need to understand the license agreement and also need to select I accept. Then next again. And now I have AutoGet LT selected, but I can do a left click to see what other options I may want to include or not to include. So if I do a left click, I can see that my installation type is typical. Even if I select custom, I can see that, okay, I can select such features. I don't bother usually about those additional features. So I do select all of them, meaning that I use a typical installation type, but it's possible to remove those if you are kind of advanced user and you really don't need those. Currently, once again, I don't have to worry about those. So everything is selected. So typical, I also want to get a desktop shortcut so that I can easily run my product to test it. If I'm satisfied with those selections, I can do a left click again and now I can select installation path. Usually it's my C drive, program files and Autodesk. And I can also see how much disk space do I need to successfully install AutoCAD LT 2019. So AutoCAD LT doesn't require much, but still 1.5 gigabyte of free space is needed. If this is also checked, I can hit install and now my AutoCAD LT will be installed. It now depends how many additional components are needed. Those are automatically installed as well. For example, DirectX runtime. And I can see that altogether six different components or products are installed. So I simply need to wait once all those components are installed and then we can check how to run AutoCAD LT first time. By the way, if you see a dialog file in use, it notifies you that some programs that should be closed are open and you can try to automatically close those applications or do a manual close. I try automatically, OK, and the installation will continue. Once the installation has finished, you should see a separate screen that tells you if product was successfully installed or not. So screen marks are indicators that it was successful. You also can see a blue information mark that tells you about help system. By default, product is using web-based help system, but if you want to, you can download it for offline use. And with my AutoCAD LT, I also got Autodesk Desktop app that helps me to actually download any updates that come out in the future. As everything is okay, I hit finish. And sometimes I do need to restart my PC. Usually you need to restart if you installed new version of Autodesk app. So because that was a case this time as well, I definitely would like to restart my system. So let's do that. So welcome back. I have restarted my system and now it's time to run AutoCAD LT 2019 first time. As you see, I do have an icon on my desktop, AutoCAD LT 2019 English version. So I just double click to run it. If I have already some previous AutoCAD versions in my machine, I can migrate settings from those. 
but I can do that later. So I will skip this step right now, cancel, and let's assume that we are running AutoGet LT in clean environment. I also may get a notification that how I want to reassociate my DWG files. Again, this is because new version or new AutoGet application is available. And do I want to use this specific application for my DWG files? Currently, I don't want to associate, so I select do not associate. And I should see that AutoGet LT 2019 is launching. I get a screen that tells me do I want to activate my license. So if you do have a license, you can move forward and select easier license for single user or multi-user. You can also select your license type based on serial number or you can start a trial. So this time I will use this option start a trial because I can activate my license at any time. Of course, when those 30 days are over, I have only one option to activate. I can't use the product. So start the trial. I get additional screen that helps me to start with a new product. For example, tips and tricks and collection of resources. I also have a notification that 30 days left the trial. And if I want to buy the software, I can do that from this screen as well using Autodesk eStore. But right now I close this screen as well. And by the way, you can see a notification on the top right corner that how many days you have left for your trial. You can also see that I'm logged in with my Autodesk account because you usually do need to have it already if you want to download or test the product. So this is AutoCAD 2019. What are my first impressions? Well, it seems that with 2019, at least major number of those tools and icons are redesigned so it's not of course um, main feature or main new feature but sometimes it's good to see also usability improvements and the visual styling about those tools you can click are of course important aspect but how you can actually start creating something with AutoCAD LT first of all you can see that uh, you have a new drawing open but if you close it just remember that uh, you can easily start from a start screen and create a new drawing also from this screen so if i hit start drawing i get a new drawing tab and in here i can start drawing circles lines basically autocad lt is for 2d design if i want to save my drawing i can click straight away on this top row, save, and from here I can see that the file format itself has not changed and it means basically that my files are usually backward compatible. I hit cancel right now. If I want to activate my license during my trial, I can easily click on this 30 days icon and from this screen I can also click already have a license or I can subscribe now to a new license. As easy as that. Right now I close it again. You can find plenty of videos about AutoCAD LT, how to start using it. This video was about AutoCAD LT 2019 installation and the first run. I hope you learned something new about this video and please do subscribe to my channel if you would like to get more of those.